Hey girls, welcome back to my channel. So today I finally decided to record this look. It's been very requested and it's finally here. I hope you guys all enjoy and without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. As always, I like to start off by priming my eyes. I am using the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion and this will help prevent our eyes from creasing and it also allows the colors to be more vivid and bright. I am then going to be setting it with the Studio Fix NC35 by MAC. Going in into my Anastasia Shadow Couture palette, I will be picking up the color Soft Peach. This will be our transition color. I will be doing that with this fluffy blending brush that I bought off from Amazon. They unfortunately don't have a brand or a name to it, but it's one of my favorites. So yeah, I will be doing that in a circular motion, making sure everything's well blended before I pick up more color or go on, on to my next color. Talking about the next color, I will be picking up Morocco. This color will help tie the look together, the blue with the browns and so on. I will do that the same way in circular motions and I will be using the same brush of course. I will be applying this right above the crease or my socket, whatever you want to call it. And then I go ahead and blend well before I pick up more product. I am then going to be going into fudge. This is a darker brown and this is what I'm going to be using to deepen up my crease. I will be using this brush that came with the palette. I am using the fluffier side since it is double sided. When I do apply this color, I do not go above my crease. I stay right on the socket and I blend in circular motions as well and I do not pick up more product unless it's well blended. Now for the eye opener of this look, I will be picking up this blue eyeshadow. I will not be saying the name of it because I do not know how to pronounce it, but it's just a blue sparkly eyeshadow. I will be applying it with this flat brush from BH Cosmetics. It does not have a name or a number to it, but it is from BH Cosmetics. And I apply this all over my eyelid and I do it all the way up to my crease. A quick tip I'm going to give you guys is when you do apply bright colors like this or shimmery or glittery colors onto your eyelid, I do recommend that you wet your brush with Fix Plus, with a setting spray, with water, whatever it is, it will just work way better and it will apply easier and it will be brighter. I am then going back to fudge and I will be using the same brush that I applied it with. I will then apply my liquid liner. I am using the NYC liquid liner in the color black and I got it at Walmart for only like two bucks and it works great. By the way, if you guys do want to learn how I do my eyebrows, I do have a tutorial for it and I will list it in the description box down below. Before applying my foundation, I like to prime my face. And I am using the Nivea Man Sensitive Pulse Shape Balm. And for foundation today, I will be using the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation in the color Medium 1. I like to go ahead and dot it all over my face and then I like to blend it in with a damp beauty blender. I will be honest with you guys, this foundation was pretty pricey, but I love it because it's matte, it does not get cakey over time, and it is weightless, which is great for summer, especially for my Arizona friend. And I almost forgot to mention, this foundation is full coverage, and you guys know how obsessed I am with full coverage foundations. To set my foundation, I will be using the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, and that is in the color Buff Beige. For concealer today, I will be using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the color Custard. Like I mentioned in my foundation routine video, I like to apply my concealer in a triangular shape. And I apply my concealer, of course, under my eye and my chin, cupid's bow, the bridge of my nose, and my forehead. I then go ahead and blend it in with a downed makeup sponge. Mm -hmm. 
To set my concealer, I will be using the Airspun Translucent Loose Powder and I will be applying it in the same areas that I applied to my concealer. After letting it sit for approximately 5 minutes, I go ahead and then blend it all out. As always, I will be using the Anastasia Powder Contour Kit and I will be using the color Sand. And I will be using this Real Techniques brush. This is the brush 300 and it's from their Metals Collection. To highlight and brighten my under eye even more, I will be using the color banana and I will be doing that using my e.l.f. blush brush. To smoke out my under eye, I will go ahead and start off by going back into Morocco. I will also be going back into fudge, but this time I will be using the opposite side of that brush that came with the palette. And then I will use the fluffy side to blend it all together. For blush, I will be using the Maybelline Dream Bouncy, which is a creamy blush. And I am using the color Fresh Pink. I like to apply this with my fingers. To set that blush, I will be using the Motives Cosmetics Blush in the color Flirt. I noticed I put a little too much blush, so I just picked up a fluffy powder brush to blend it. And for highlight, of course, I am using the Becca Cosmetics Champagne Pop. For my inner tear duct, I am using this white shimmery eyeshadow by L'Oreal. I do not have the name for it. I am sorry. For my waterline, I'll be using this NYX Jumbo Pencil in the color Milk. On my lips today, I will be wearing the Kylie Jenner Candy K Lip Kit. I first outline my lips with the pencil. And then I go ahead and fill it all in. Once I've filled in my lips with the lip pencil, I go ahead and apply a layer of the liquid lipstick. To clean up any mess I did with the lip pencil, I go ahead and clean it with a concealer and a flat brush. Alright guys, and that's how you achieve this look. I hope you guys all enjoyed. If you did, please go ahead and spread the love, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye!